Welcome to the next part of the module on Android Concurrency Frameworks, which provides an overview of the Handler class. This part explains how the Handler class enables the sending and processing of message and runnable objects in the message queue associated with a threads looper. It also shows how handlers are applied in Android applications and concurrency frameworks. Each thread-specific looper contains a synchronized message queue that's used to process messages and runnables placed on the queue by one or more threads, as described in the previous video. However, the actual management of the message queue is done by instances of the Android Handler class, each of which is associated with a single thread and is responsible for adding and removing messages in the thread-specific looper's message queue, as well as dispatching messages to their intended targets, as described at this link. A handler is associated with a particular looper, which defaults to the looper for the current thread in which the handler was created, though a different looper can be passed as a parameter to the handler constructor, which stores it in a data member and uses it to control which thread manages operations on the handler. A handler provides several capabilities to applications. For example, it can be used to send message objects and or post runnable objects to a looper in the handler's thread or in a different thread. In either case, the looper's message queue enqueues, schedules, and dequeues these objects and collaborates with a handler to execute them at some point in the future in the context of the thread associated with the handler. A handler and looper also collaborate to serialize the processing of messages within the thread they're associated with, which can be used to simplify concurrency control by eliminating the need for synchronization mechanisms as long as the appropriate patterns and framework design rules are followed, as described at this link. Objects running in different threads can interact via their handlers. For example, they can exchange messages via handler and message queues associated with each other's loopers. Android concurrency frameworks use the handler, message queue, and looper classes to implement key concurrency patterns, such as active object, command processor, and half sync, half async, as discussed later in this module. The handler class has a large number of methods, over two dozen as shown at this link. These methods can be grouped into four main categories, which correspond to various POSA and Gang of Four patterns. We briefly outline each category here. The first category of handler methods enable programs to post or remove a runnable by inserting it into or deleting it from the message queue associated with the handler. When a runnable is posted, the handler and its thread-specific looper then collaborate to dequeue each runnable and dispatch its run hook method in accordance with the command processor pattern described in these upcoming videos. The second category of handler methods allows programs to send or remove a message, again, by inserting it into or deleting it from the message queue associated with the handler. When a message is sent, it contains a bundle of data that will subsequently be processed by the handler's handle message hook method in accordance with the message passing variant of the active object pattern, as described in these upcoming videos. The third category of handler methods are factories that create the messages passed to send message in accordance with creational patterns described at this link. The fourth and final category of handler methods is used to dispatch and handle messages via the handle message hook method. This method must be overridden to receive and process messages in queued via send message. The handle message hook method runs in the context of the thread-specific looper associated with the handler instance, again, in accordance with the message passing variant of the active object pattern. This overview just scratches the surface of the many methods associated with each category, which we elaborate upon in the next two parts of the module. In summary, background threads and the user interface thread in Android often need to communicate to perform their operations concurrently and or coordinate their behavior. The Hammer framework uses the Handler class to support these interactions. A handler allows one or more background threads to send messages or post runnables to the user interface thread's message queue, as well as allow a thread to send messages or post runnables to itself. Moreover, background threads can also interact via handlers. 
The post methods are generally used when the sender knows what operations to perform, as shown in this upcoming video. The send message methods are generally used when the receiver knows what operations to perform, as shown in this upcoming video. Handlers are widely applied in Android applications, application frameworks, and concurrency frameworks. In the Hammer framework, handlers collaborate with loopers and message queues to implement key framework characteristics, such as their support for inversion of control, concurrency domain-specific structure and functionality, like synchronized message queues and thread pools, and semi-completed portions of concurrent applications whose run and handle message hook methods can be overridden by application developers, as described in the next two videos. The async task framework also uses handlers for similar purposes, as shown in these upcoming videos. Other sources explain how to use handlers in Android concurrency frameworks and concurrent applications, as described at this link.